The Nasrawa State NUJ Chairman Dogo Shama's statement on the fake news was a response to the question posed to him by the Speaker of the Assembly, Ibrahim Balarepe Abdullahi, on the concern of the public over the increase of fake news in the society. While exonerating conventional media from disseminating fake news, Shama explained that genuine media practitioners are disturbed by the trend being carried out mostly by the social media. Before the advent of ICT, the conventional media were doing the job trying to balance their reports and cross balance before the air is through a medium. Unfortunately, the government board of the social media has polluted the role that the press is playing. He said NUJ at its last national executive meeting has taken a decision to tackle the trend. Dogo Shama also said if given the portfolio to serve as information commissioner, he will ensure good relationship not only between press and government but the general public. Apart from the state NUJ chairman Dogo Shama, who was screened to be part of the executive, other 14 nominees that include three immediate past commissioners in the state and a former lawmaker were also screened by the State House of Assembly to be part of the executive. After screening the 15 nominee at the committee of a whole, the assembly revert to the plenary and confirm them. The 15 uh, numbers commissioners nominee that appear before this house between yesterday and today, uh, members unanimously agree that the 15 numbers commissioners nominee should be confirmed and they were indeed confirmed. The Assembly Speaker Ibrahim Balarebe Abdullahi called on the Commissioner's designate to discharge their functions as part of the executive with due diligence. The Speaker also directed the clerk of the Legislative Building to communicate the decision of members to the State Governor, Abdullahi Sule, who earlier folded their names to the Assembly for the screening. Hajia Halima Jaburu is one of the nominees. She promised to uphold trust in their duty. From Lafia, Abubakar Abdullahi, Liberty News.